I'm Random Ross, and this is the festive season. Stay tuned. Mm, it's nice, isn't it? Right, hello there. It is me, Random Ross, and this is a video response for for Movie Phantom. If you don't know who the Movie Phantom is, uh, I'll pop a link in the description below for his channel. Check him out. Also, the Walt Thirteen Fourth Man. He's another subscriber of ours. Like I say, we're all subscribed to each other's channels, and he does um, he does videos like this. So yeah. Uh, top three um, Christmas movies. Now, when Movie, Fan Movie Phantom every Tuesday, I think he does like a top three movie starting with like a letter from the alphabet. But uh, this week he did a Christmas one with it being Christmas week and all. So uh, I thought I'd give him my top three Christmas movies. Now, he said they didn't have to be horror related, but I'm going to do them anyway. Um, top three Christmas movies in general. That are my favourite and my personal opinion alone. And then I'll do a top three festive horrors. So let's go. Number three. Die Hard. Now I've had this argument so many times. People saying oh Die Hard's not a Christmas film. And that. Die Hard is a Christmas film. It is set on Christmas. It takes place on Christmas. It is a Christmas movie. Uh, what else? It has a Christmas, some song, Christmas songs in their soundtrack. It's a Christmas film. So Die Hard. Yes. Uh, even though, yeah, I'll admit, I do watch it sometimes when it's not Christmas because it's like an action-y movie and that. But still, I think it's a Christmas film in my personal opinion alone. Next, number two, Home Alone. Classic comedy, Macaulay Culkin, Joe Pesci, The Other Guy. You know, it's just a wacky film. I enjoy it. I've always loved it. I watch it every single year at Christmas, ever since I was a little boy. I've loved that film from, I love that film to death. It is, I just, I love it, you know, I do. I love Home Alone. Home Alone, for me, this, the, the franchise Home Alone, is just Home Alone, and then Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. After that, Home Alone 3 was okay, but it just didn't feel like Home Alone, a Home Alone movie. Home Alone 4 and Holiday Heist. They don't exist to me, they're low budget crap. Straight to DVD as well. Okay, so my number one Christmas movie um, is starring Will Farrell, it's Elf. Now, this film always will have a special place in my heart because I remember you know, 2003, 12 years old, I went to see this film and I literally went to the pictures four, yes, four times to actually see the film, it was that good, I loved it. I just loved the film to pieces, you know. I mean, if it wasn't for Elf, Home Alone would be at number one, but Elf, you know, I watch it, not a year goes by where I don't watch it. I like to say, we need to watch Elf. You know, it's part of our, it's part of my Christmas tradition anyway. So Elf, number one. Okay, now, the horrors. My top three festive horror films. Let's see if this is still, uh... yep. Yeah. I've been having technical difficulties lately. It's not been. Sometimes it says recording failed. So my top three festive horror movies. So these are top three. So number three. It is Black Christmas, two thousand six remake. Uh, I thought the remake. This is just my opinion. Okay, it was a bit boring. I didn't think much to it. But I thought the remake was a lot more entertaining. You got to see more. It was more fast paced. So that's number three. Number two. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Yes. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Festive slasher. A guy goes insane. Dresses as Santa killing people. They remade that film and titled it Silent Night. But you can't beat the original. With that one in my opinion. Sequel wasn't all that good. But the first one was great. They did another one a couple of years later, I think it was. Was it? Well, they did um, um There was another one that was like it, Christmas Evil. Okay, so my number one festive horror is... 
Now, a lot will not agree with me on this, but I am going to go with Santa's sleigh. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Santa's sleigh. You know, but that, that, if it was a top five, it would be in there, Santa's sleigh. You know, Bill Goldberg. No, my uh, number one festive horror film, I'm going to have to give it to Krampus. I mean, yeah, it's a recent film. It's out in pictures now. But I've seen the film, like, you know, twice already. And I think it's a... A good horror. People don't. Some people don't agree in that. But hey, it's from the director of Trick or Treat, and he did a great job with that film. I've heard they're working on a second Trick or Treat film. But Krampus, that was a great. That was a good film. It was witty, wacky, dark. I just enjoyed that film a lot. Krampus. So yeah, Krampus. Um, my number one horror, Christmas horror. So. Uh, what are yours? Uh, you know, either leave a comment down below or make a response video even. You know, and check out Movie Phantom. He's a great, you know, guy. He does a lot of horror stuff, horror news, horror top threes and, and stuff like that and reviews. You know, just check him out. There's a link in the description below to his channel. Uh, you know, so if you click on his channel and subscribe, tell him that. Me and the 13th Wolfman sent you, because he also does call-outs for that guy too. Yeah, and 13th Wolfman, check him out. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, also in the description below are links to my Facebook page, my Twitter. So click on those, click like, click follow, and then follow me on Facebook and Twitter to see what I get up to outside of YouTube and stay updated on my channel. So, yeah. Uh, is there anything else for me to say? Apart from, yeah. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you after this one. So, till next time, goodbye, friends.